Welcome to the Parmar Holiday Classic, presented by RN Sports, RSN Sports, and powered by HD Media. We are here at George Washington High School. University High School has made the trip down. Capitol High School, not far away. We're set to tip. University right away gets two points. That's Jackson. University Jackson, he's all the way to the other side, misses. Almost a tip back. No good. Capital. Looks like Poor's got a wide open layup. Gets a little pressure from behind, but he takes it in. Capital's on the board. Baseline, back up top. Swings it over to right to Stuck. He gives it to Welch inside the four. Four's going baseline. A little bit of traffic down there. He's going to shoot two. Three-point shot attempted by Jackson. No good. University gets the rebound. Driving. Can't get it. Capital back up big with it. Good in transition to Stunt. He's going to shoot two. Foul on Jackson. 10-5 University. Elijah Poor right side wing. He's got baseline. He's got a shot. No good. He gets his own rebound. Fighting for it. He'll shoot two. He gets both. Capital hard press on the defense. They force University to make a turnover. Loveless takes a big three-point shot. And he comes through. No good. Long rebound. Hammock over to Forbes. Over to Cavalier in the corner. Kicks it up to Rays about the wing. Rays now baseline back into Forbes with a wide open Cavalier. He's got three. Now to Jackson back to Hammock. Hammock up to Rays. Ray's left side of Jackson, wide open, doesn't take it. Kicks it back to Ray. He wants three, and he's got it. Stolen by Capital, that's stuck right there. And he has a hard fought two points. University is moving. I don't know about that call. They're going to call a foul on Hampton. Stuck over to Welch. Welch trying to find Stuck again. Uh, picks it out to Poor. Elijah Poor. Big three-point shot. Cuts this to a single-digit lead for University. And Garrett Stuck now coming up with the steal for Capital. Swings it over to Hines, baseline to Poor. He's got trapped by Forbes and Hammock, but Elijah Poor somehow finds a little room, goes a reverse on the baseline, and we are down to a six-point game. Capital, just like that, is back in this game. Elijah Poor fighting hard. Referee says it was clean and off of Hammock. Capital now. Momentum is swinging. Stuck finds Poor wide open for a three. No good. Poor fighting for his own rebound. He's got it. Lights inside. Elijah Poor. Capital down by four. Stuck hustling inside the Poor. Almost. Hines getting in there. He's got a rebound. He brings it back up though to reset the offense. He's guarded by Jackson. Drives inside, kicks it down in to Casey on Welch, who's good for two points on the baseline now. And the Capital Cougars, they are back in this game. University will take a timeout. They force another turnover. Capital has the ball. Here comes Hines. Picks up his dribble, but he finds it inside the Hampton, kicks it out 
to Welch. He swings it over to Ford down into the left corner for Garrett Stuck. And he's got three points as he pounds his chest. Hines now for Capital. Swings it over to Welch. Back to Hines. Over to Poor. Right side gets down to Booker. He drives baseline reverse. He's got it. Markel Booker. And Kistner will come up with it. Throw it out to Rays. Crossing half court. And Hampton with the steal for Capital. He might. And he does have two points. Picks up his dribble, but he's got Hines there. They're going to try to eat up all the clock they can and find the best shot that they can find. Hines inside. He's got two. Tyshawn Hines. University now the other way. It's Forbes. Handed off to Rays. Inside to Hammett. Good pass and good finish. University. Is not going to give up. Timeout called. Looks like Tyshawn Hines is aggravated. Maybe the in, he he got injured in the first half. He took a very bad spill. I believe he might have whatever. However, he might have hurt himself. He might have re-aggravated it. A lot of credit to him for. Coming back out here and fighting through it. As we take a look at our Lester Reigns replay. Yeah, somewhere there before or during the shot. He aggravated it, gets down court. There comes Reigns across half court. Left side to Jackson, back to Rays, right side to Hammett. Almost takes the three, kicks it back out to Rays. He wants the three, and he's got it. University takes the lead. Under two minutes to go. Here's Garrett Stuck on the other side. He wants a fadeaway in front of Rays, and he answers. Garrett Stuck for capital. Comes Jackson, guarded by Poor. Down the baseline to Forbes. He's got two men in front of him. Misses, gets his own rebound, but finds the hole for two more points and the lead. This game is going down to the wire. Here comes Poor for the Cougars. At the foul line, he's got a shot. No good. Welch with the putback. Welcome to the Parmar Holiday Classic, presented by RSN Sports and powered by HD Media. We are here at South Hills of Charleston, George Washington High School for day two, game three of the Parmar Holiday Classic as Capital and Cesar Chavez from Washington, D.C. are set to tip. And the Eagles of Cesar Chavez will get things going first. That's Wallace over to Suave Sprave. Right side to Melvin. He kicks it inside to Wallace, who couldn't get that one. Capital takes over now. Here comes Tayshawn Hines. Left side to Garrett Stuck. Up top. Elijah Poor kicks it back out to Hines. Left side to Welch. To Stuck. A lob to Hampton. They're going to say it's off the Eagles. Cougar ball. Stuck on the inbound. Tosses it up to Hampton. Successful this time. Kicks it out to Welch who swings it way over in the corner to Hines. Back out to the wing to Poor. He'll slow it down a little bit. Pick up his dribble. Over to Welch now. Top of the key. Hands it off to Stuck. Guarded by Melvin. I'll have to give it to Hines. Dribbles in, kicks it out. That's Elijah Poor. Left side to Holt. Back to Sprave. Knocked away by Hampton. He's going to take it all the way. 
And that's good for two points. Shalik Hampton not only scoring, playing some defense along with Welch. Kicks it over to Garrett Stuck. He wants three. Not going to go. Here come the Eagles. Sprave. Hampton is too much for him. Knocked away. Eagles recover. That's Wallace. Gives it up to Melvin. Dribbles in. Can't get the shot to go. Referee says it was clean. Hampton with the rebound to Hines. Hines looking. He finds Elijah Poor. Can't make it, but Welch on the putback. Casey on Welch. Capital with a quick 7 to nothing lead. Misses his second. Hampton with the rebound. Hands it off to Brown. Capital coming up hard now. Loveless for the three. Buries it. The man, Hines, guarding Marshall. Marshall able to get across court. Tries to throw a pass up to Holt, but it's stolen away by Loveless. And he's got an easy two points on the other side. And Hampton with the steal for the Cougars. Gives it to Poor. Trying to get two. He'll be fouled. And he'll get two free shots. Elijah Poor, first shot. Good. He's got both. Elijah Poor with seven points now in the first half. Here comes Sprave, guarded by Hines. Kicks it over right side. It's Barron guarded by Poor. Poor knocks it away. He's got a steal. Collects it. Finds Loveless. Too strong. Stuck with the rebound. Misses. Poor with the rebound. Misses. Another offensive rebound for the Cougars as Tyshawn Hines gets it. Top of the key. Swings it left to Loveless. Inside to Poor. Who throws it into Hampton. Hampton with the man in his face. Can't get it to fall. Eagles will get it back. Here comes Sprave. Poor kind of knocked it away. It's going to be a late call on Tyson, or excuse me, Elijah Poor. Eagles will keep the ball. Stay undefeated. They came in 1-0. Big win last night against University. And they're going to leave 3-0 after beating Cesar Chavez. Capital Cougars next game will be Wednesday at South Charleston, December 22nd. Cool. And that brings us to our farmer, Klein and Campbell, player of the game, Casey on Welch. Finished the game with 19 points. Welch very instrumental on both sides of the court in game number one of the Parmar Holiday Classic to Capital, the team we just saw. They lost 63 to 61. George Washington, they are 2 and 0. Oh. They had the win last night against Cesar Chavez, the team we just saw play Capital. They look to stay undefeated. The university, they don't want to leave with another loss. They came here for at least one win. We are set for what should be a great game in the final game. There's the tip. A little bit of both teams touching it, but Atkins comes up with it. Over to Nickel. Hoffman to Fitzpatrick. Carter back Kistner gives it up top. McAllister, left side now to Nickel. Fakes, dribbles in. See how many men at the baseline. 
Looking for Adkins, tipped over to McAllister. McAllister finds a wide open Ben Nickel. And he's got three. Hoffman inbound. McAllister swings it all the way to Fitzpatrick. Back over to Hoffman, other corner. Hoffman wants a three. And it falls. Rays throws it up court to Jackson. Swings it over to Hammock. Hammock to uh, Forbes. He dribbles baseline. Kicks it inside to Kistner. Kistner with a two-handed slam. Parmar Holiday Classic. Let's check our Lester Reigns replay. Here's Kistner. Listed at 6-7. And showing all of it there. Over to Kistner. Back to Rays. Back to Forbes. He drives, kicks it down low to Cavalier and Cavalier said, how would you like to see that again? Another two-handed slam. Stolen away, Cavalier. Here come the Hawks. It's Kistner, picks up his dribble. Gives it to Ray's big three-point shot attempt. And it hits nothing but the net. That's Ray's University. Getting some momentum going. As they start with an eight point lead here in the second quarter for the Patriots. Goot to Hoffman. Hoffman shoots and he scores. Hawks the other side now. It's Kistner. Cavalier, it's raised back to Cavalier. Cavalier wants three. He gets it off the glass. Patriots trailing by two. Hawks trying to keep their lead. It's Cavalier with a big three. Another big three. Ben Nickel, GW. Right side to McAllister. He drives, puts it up. Other side now, Ray swings it to Kistner. Back to Cavalier, same spot and same result. Cavalier now with nine points off of three threes. It's McAllister on the other side for the Patriots. Over to Castleberry, swings it to Hoffman, to Nickel, Nickel fakes, drives. Nice little finger roll. And he's got nine. GW down by four. Knocked away, but Ray's able to get it back. We go under two minutes. Here's Cavalier. Swings it inside. Looking for Kistner, but Fitzpatrick's there. Knock it away. Here's Fitzpatrick on the other end. Ref will say everything was clean. Knocked off the Hawks. Patriots will keep it. 138 in the first half. Right side to Cavalier. Uh, back up top. Back to Rays. Forbes. Cavalier, Kistner, stolen away by Ben Nickel. Here come the Patriots. And Ben Nickel with the steal, the spin, and the finish. Cuts this to a two-point game as we near 20 seconds left here in the first half. Kistner guarded by McAllister. Looking for Cavalier who didn't get the message. Brandon Hoffman's there, though. He'll take it all the way to tie this game up. It's the Parmar Holiday Classic here at George Washington High School, presented by RSN Sports and powered by HD Media. George Washington and University tied at half as we get set for the second half to start. At the half, Ben Nickel finishes with 11 points. 
Brennan Hoffman, seven for University. Cavalier, he's leading them with nine. And Kistner, right behind him with seven. I think this is the first time maybe since the first quarter we're seeing Hammock and Jackson back in the game for the Hawks. Here's Jackson. Stolen away by Atkins for the Patriots. Here he comes. He's got a lay-in. And GW will take the lead to start the second half. Here comes Rays to Forbes. Forbes guarded by Atkins. And behind him is Brendan Hoffman with the block. Nickel now for the Patriots the other way. Kicks to Hoffman. Hoffman drives. Doesn't fall. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Brendan Hoffman now with nine points. Hawks will get it. Race to Kistner. Up top to Cavalier. He steps in. Gives it to Race. Left side to Forbes. Up top, back up to Rays. He wants three, and he's got it. Rays with eight points now. And the Hawks with a three-point lead. Here's Nickel, left side to Monday, inside to McAllister, looking for Castleberry, but the Hawks will take it. Rays to Forbes, Forbes, baseline, picks up his dribble, knocked away by Ben Nickel. He's got the steal. And in transition, here he comes to Castleberry. Castleberry, soft touch. Castleberry with five points. It looks like Goot will come to the table to check in. Hawks, Kistner, fade away. Kistner with nine points now. To Kistner, to Cavalier, fakes the three. Gives it off to Rays. He wants the three, and he's got it. Hoffman crosses half court to Nickel. He drives, picks up his dribble. Back out to Hoffman. Swings it over right side to Nickel. Nickel fakes, drives. He's got an easy two. Then Nickel. He cuts this to a one-point game. Timeout. University. 4.02 left to go with the lead by one. To Monday, he gives it up to Nickel. Now to McAllister, swings it right. Hoffman to Fitzpatrick. Back to Nickel. Back to McAllister. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman drives. Misses. And there's Fitzpatrick with the putback. GW takes the lead. Here's the Hawks, Kistner to Rays. Rays wants a big three, and he's got it. That gives him 14 and a two-point lead. Under three minutes, here's Nickel. To McAllister, back to Nickel. Right side corner, he dribbles out, picks up his dribble. Gives it up top, McAllister, right side to Hoffman. Big three-point shot, Brendan Hoffman. 2.30 to go. GW up by one. Here are the Hawks. Kistner drives baseline. He's got a shot. It's good. Going the Patriots. Down by one. Hoffman inside to Fitzpatrick. Back out to Hoffman. Nobody wants to contest him. And he says, you give it to me, I'll take it. Brendan Hoffman. 19 points. GW up by two, 50-48. Here's Rays. Drives in, puts up a shot. And it is denied. To Ron Fitzpatrick. Kistner to Rays. Here come the Hawks. Kistner on the left side. Long two-point shot. Ties it up. 50 all. Under a minute to go. GW with the ball. 
The fans are getting up on their feet. Hoffman. That's a nickel. Nickel. He wants a three. He's got it. Ben Nickel with a big three-point shot, pushing the Patriots up by three. 34 seconds to go. Hawks. And a three-point stretch to close. Here come the Hawks. Right side corner three by Cavalier. He's got it. That's his fourth three. Gives him 12 points. Under 10, Hoffman to Nickel. Nickel with the game in his hand. Three. Nickel. And how about that? Ben Nickel and the George Washington Patriots all the way down to the last second. And I think it's safe to say who our Farmer Clown and Campbell player of the game is going to be. George Washington getting this victory at home, 56-53, to 53, winning both their games here in the Parmar Holiday Classic. As we check our Lester Reigns replay, our Farmer Klein and Campbell player of the game is Ben Nickel. Finished the game with 21 points after that big three. Give this university team all the credit as well. They did not make this an easy one. And all but with a minute left in the game, university had the lead. We, we can very well expect to see these two teams in February. And here it is, Ben Nickel putting the stamp as he waves bye-bye to University. And his teammates let him know that they are very proud of what he did. And that will conclude the Parmar Holiday Classic. We want to thank our sponsors, Summit Bank, Gateway Mortgage, Warner Law, DHG Wealth Advisors, Dutch Miller Auto, Thomas Health System, opening a new ER at St. Francis Hospital soon, Todd Judy Ford, Army Recruiting of West Virginia, Ben Salango Law, our sponsors. The Classic, uh, brought to you, produced, I'm sorry, by the Media Center. I want to thank our producer, Dan, Dan Shree, on camera, Ethan Young, Haley Hunter, and Michelle Carroll. And we want to thank our viewers for watching. It's a very, very good game from the tip. The Hawks made the journey down here. And they fought hard last night and tonight. It might be, it's going to be a tough uh, trip back up to Morgantown, which is where they will play on Wednesday against the Mohegans. The Patriots, they'll be right back here at home on Thursday against the St. Albans Red Dragons. Again, your final score. GW 56, University 53.
And this game was back and forth, back and forth. A lot of big three-point shots. And a few that mattered the most was down there as the clock was winding down. Like you had a big old block right there by Fitzpatrick. Race. He had two or three big three-point shots there in the fourth quarter. Hoffman, a junior for the Patriots. And this is it right here, Ben Nickel. Took it all the way down to the wire, an instant classic here up on the hill. The Patriots, they leave the classic 3-0. and oh. Again, we want to thank our viewers. This has been the Parmar Holiday Classic presented by RSN Sports and powered by HD Media. Have a good night and a good holiday, everybody.